These four Kenyans left their homeland Kenya in search of greener pastures not just for themselves but their families too. But as it turned out, the grass on the other side wasn't as green as they expected. They remain guests of the newest state in Africa, South Sudan. They are undoing accusations of money laundering and an attempt to defraud the government there of some substantial amount of money. They were sentenced to 72 years in prison together with 12 others who are South Sudanese. I do believe my brother is innocent. I believe he's innocent because if he had all that money they're being accused of, I don't think we would be in, his family would be in the condition it is right now. Distraught and helpless, with each passing day their families wait for news from the south. My dad hardly talks. When you ask him, he's just mute. He's just too affected. And everyone in the family is asking, until when are we going to go through this? These families say the Kenyan Foreign Affairs Ministry has promised to engage the South Sudan government diplomatically to secure their release. That was a year ago. But the day the ministry had assured them of their relative safe return is the very day judgment was passed. A shocker they haven't yet recovered from. When we met with our minister in October last year, she had promised us. She looked at us, she looked at the mothers, and she told us she feels the pain that we're going through as family members and that she's going to do anything that she can possibly to bring these boys back home in two to three weeks. She had asked us to stay away from the media, and we did so. Her brother, Ravi Gagda, turned 28 yesterday. These boys are suffering in a military country. So I, as a member of these family members, and on behalf of the rest of the families as well, I'm asking for the intervention of our head of state. But even as they resort to following that route, the Kenyan Human Rights Commission holds that it will move to court to compel the government to act. Through the foreign policy of Kenya, uh, the government is entitled to ensure, protect, and uh, vigorously defend the rights of, of, of Kenyans. What action is our government do, taking? These are Kenyans who want to fend for their families. There are no jobs in Kenya. So does it mean that we stop going to South Sudan to work? The families say it's been months of torment and anguish as they await the safe returns of their brothers and sons. The government has also promised them of working behind the scenes to assure their return. But they say it's taking too long. Their latest action, they say, is an act of desperation. Kennedy Muradi, NTV.